So because I was pissed, okay? I was very pissed. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another chit chat video. Um, today I put a little twist on it because it's gonna be a get ready with me chit chat video. I have to film after this, so I kind of also have to like do my makeup for the filming. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone, and I'm gonna get ready as I talk as i give you guys you know a little sit down talk and then after i finish getting ready and then film the video that i'm you know the other video that i'm supposed to film today so if you want to see how i achieved this beautiful look yo i am not a makeup artist i just know how to beat my own face so if you want to see how i achieved this i feel like it's flawless keep watching this video okay yay now let's get on with it so I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera because it's quite impossible for me to talk and do my eyebrows at the same time. Maybe it's just me or maybe it's a universal thing but I'm not able to so I don't even try. So yeah, I got my eyebrows popping. Now I know it's a hard thing to try and develop like standards in your friendships, in your relationships, any kind of relationships that you have. Like, you know, what I realized, you know, like a while ago, y'all, this is something, hold up, hold up, quick disclaimer, not really disclaimer, just a little side piece thingy. Um, these are the things that I had to go through. What I'm telling you guys is something that I implemented in my own life. So I'm not just telling you stuff that I've heard. I'm telling you stuff that I know. And I can tell you honestly that when you start like developing, um, other when you start putting boundaries in your friendships, in your relationships with people, things are going to be different. Things are not going to be the same ever again. Now, here's the thing, y'all. There's a time I used to, you could, okay, I'm not going to say walk all over me, but I was very, like, generous with stuff. Like, I used to do things for my friends, even though they were, like, inconvenience to me. Like, for example, if we go somewhere and I'm driving them, they will expect me to take them back home. And maybe the time I am, we're leaving, wherever the hell we're going, it's a bit late. But they don't want to hear that. They just want to get taken home. And I'm gonna. I was. I was doing it because I'm like, it's probably late. Um, how are they gonna get there? I used to have so much sympathy for them. I'm like, it's quite late. And I did go pick them up from their house. So like, it's only fair or like it's only nice to take them back that has been going on for a while like i had a friend we used to go to university together um every single day after school she expected me to take her home and she would, used to get mad when i don't do it quickly like you know maybe i do have somewhere else to go and she will follow me okay and when we're there, she starts getting angry because I'm taking up all the time and she's gonna get late to go home. And at that time, I never realized that she was just taking advantage. I thought, like, I don't even know what I used to think. I was like, you know, maybe it's okay, it's nothing wrong with that. But later on, I realized, like, after a while of, like, sitting down with myself and analyzing our friendship all together i was like she was taking advantage of it was just taking advantage because if you want me to give you a ride home and i tell you i have somewhere else to go and then you follow me to the destination that i am going you don't you're not you're not allowed to rush me because you don't know why i'm going there okay like if it wasn't your plan to go there then why are you like rushing me because i am taking up all my time it kind of it kind of never like sank in what was happening i just thought you know it's it's typical it's usual like you know we're friends so i am like obliged to like take her home i'm the only one um, in my friend group that was driving and i now realize that I was doing a wrong thing, but well, I wasn't really doing a wrong thing, but I was accepting a lot of stuff at the time. So I had a breaking point, y'all. 
I had a breaking point when we went out, not really out, it was more like um, an afternoon outing and stuff. And when we were there, we drank a couple of cocktails. And then now she started forcing me to take her to a boyfriend. And she was so mad about it when I told her the only place I can take you is home. But she didn't want to hear that. She's like, take me to my boyfriend. And her boyfriend's house is a bit far. It's not like far, far. It's like 20 minutes away. But the problem is traffic. This city has so much traffic that you can be stuck in one place for a long time okay especially in the evening when it's rush hour time and because it was on a tuesday or something it was in the middle of the week so I, I kept on telling her that there's no way i can go there the only place i can take you is home but she didn't want to hear that she was like take me to my boyfriend yada, yada, yada. and then i broke at that point like that was the last straw because I looked at her and I told her I am not taking you. Either you take an Uber or you go home. Actually, I'm not even taking you home anymore. It's your business. It's your problem. I don't care no more. So she then said um, she's going to take an Uber. So I called an Uber for her and paid. Although she didn't pay me back because, bitch. The point of my life right now, I just don't give a damn. Anyway, so what was I saying? Right. So... I got to my final destination that day, not my final destination, but like my last nerve and she wasn't like, I didn't talk to her for a while, she's the one who broke the silence asking me how much money I spent on her, you know, Uber and stuff and she paid me back and we haven't really talked except the fact that she is like making something for my mom's house. So that's the only reason why we talk right now. The point is with my little story time. um. You need to, you need to set boundaries with your friends. Like, don't let your friends walk all over you. Don't let your friends feel like they are entitled to your things. Like, they're entitled to, you know, favors and stuff. And, you know, something else, y'all. Something else, y'all, okay? That... This is the time I used to date some guy. That's a story for another day. Because my mom slapped the shit out of that guy. But that's another story for a completely different uh, chit chat. But anyway, she... Okay, we went there. Okay, she was dating a guy and I was dating a guy. And we all went to hang out at some place after school. And her boyfriend left. He used to go very fast. I don't know. He used to... I don't know. I can't talk about it. But he left quickly and he went. And that's fine, okay? And afterwards, we were remaining there, chilling, uh, talking, eating, you know, everything else you do when you're, like, on a late lunch date, I'm gonna say that. Hang out, something. So, she started getting mad because I'm taking all my time. Her boyfriend is gone. So, now she's angry. Then, I don't know, I'm not rushing enough. Like, I wasn't really hurrying up to go home at this time we didn't have puppies it was just me and my mom we actually we didn't even have staff so there was really no one that i am keeping you guys so i was out in the bar my mom was doing her thing i was in my thing so there was really no rush to come home quickly so she got angry like i could see it through her whatever she was not having it she was not having it and she was like oh my god i'm gonna break my stuff she started having an attitude and i'm like so you eat something maybe you're just hungry because you know girls you know how we get and she's like no i want to go home now if that was me right now i could have told her bitch <laughs> take an uber and go the fuck home okay don't disturb me but i couldn't at the time because I don't know, I was still like naive when it came to friendships. I was like, you know, I'm supposed to take care of her and stuff like that until I realized she ain't my sister, she ain't my mother. Bitch is grown, she can do whatever she wants. Right now I know that, but at the time I was like, oh my god. Maybe, you know, she's gonna get mad at me, you know, and then I'm not gonna have a friend. I used to have such kind, such kind of thoughts at the time. So I kind of let her walk all over me at the time. So when she got mad, I had to end my hanging out with the guy because, you know, the bitch is mad. Let's go home. Don't be mad because I'm hanging out with, you know, I'm doing my thing. I'm, I'm, I'm hanging out with people. I am, you know, enjoying the day and you get mad because 
you got places to go like it ain't fair okay it ain't freaking fair if you have somewhere to go you just go don't like expect me to like take you there because you feel entitled now this is what I'm talking about you guys does that look good that's what I'm saying in friendships in relationships boyfriend girlfriend relationships or even family relationships you just need to keep boundaries like there's a line you're supposed to put a line like people need to know that they're not supposed to cross this line they're not supposed to do this with this line there is a line to everything and you just need to like make sure everybody knows about it okay because i did that in my relationship once there's this guy I used to date y'all uh, uh my dating history is crazy but there was this guy I used to date um he used to go to i don't even know what fucking school he used to go to but he used to live in rongai and don't even and at that time we used to live in mombasa road so the distance between us it's quite long it's not really long but trying to connect that with public transport gets a little bit too long so this digger hey he used to expect me to go visit him all the freaking time okay because it's like you're not giving me attention um you're not coming to see me and everything and i'm telling him that it's quite a distance between uh, where i was living and 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 wrong guy and i am not really in the mood to travel that far because i have to come back and at the time i wasn't driving so because it was literally like right after high school so he used to like expect me to always be there and always like he used to expect me to be his therapist He's expecting me to be his therapist. Like he used to come tell me about how he has, you know, problems with his parents, his dad and his mom are fighting, they're not living together, they're divorced. Um, he used to tell me all that kind of stuff. And at the back of my mind, I'm like, sweetie, I don't really care. <laughs> That's a you problem. And he used to get mad that I'm not going through problems. Like he never thought like <laughs> To him, he saw me like I'm not going through any problems and in reality, he wasn't really right because, you know, there's like internal struggles, like mental struggles and stuff. So I had to like put major boundaries with him. When we were breaking up, he started like frightening me like, y'all, yeah, he was threatening me just because I kept standards and, and I kept boundaries and I told him, you can't do this no more, you can do this other thing no more, you can do this other thing no more. Okay, if you want to see me, you come and find me. I'm not I'm not the guy in the relationship. I'm not going to come to you all the freaking time. And he got so pissed. And when he got pissed and I realized this is not going nowhere, I just told him, you know what, fuck you, we're done. I'm not doing this anymore. Um, yo, He pissed me off. And then I realized that... When you let people like when you accept a lot from people and then you randomly not randomly you start creating boundaries with them they get so pissed because they now don't know what to do they're used to walking all over you now you got standards now you got like your limits now you got like boundaries and now they don't freaking know what to do and they result to insult or they result to putting you down and they just start acting weird and start telling you you have changed first of all i hate that freaking word if you come and tell me you have changed <laughs> bet you're gonna have a problem because you're saying it like it's a bad thing but in reality it's not a bad thing we are supposed to change humans are supposed to change okay if you remain the same from birth to till death the fuck you doing like what kind of life did you live if you're remaining the same you're not supposed to remain the same so when people come to me and tell me oh you have changed this is not the you that i used to know bet you didn't even actually know me you did it okay that's just a version of me that you knew and now it's gone it's changed okay you don't expect me to, to be the same person i was freaking five years ago there ain't no way ain't no way so when i started like putting the boundaries and especially like my love relationships and I started having like standards like I know this is what I want in this relationship this is what I don't want in this relationship now y'all men don't like that men don't freaking like that at all that's what I came to realize or 
technically boys don't like that because now they don't really know what else to do they're so used to you know girls who they can just do whatever they want with and now that they come to me and they realize I got standards they start calling me start saying oh you're high maintenance oh you're gonna die alone the, t <laughs> the amount of times I've been told I'm gonna die alone y'all if I had a penny for every time someone said that statement to me I'll be a freaking billionaire right now because it's a thing that I've heard so many times um there's also even a guy who kept came to me and he's like you know if you just lowered your standards just a little bit um you're gonna be a perfect girlfriend I'm like I'm not trying to be your girlfriend okay and I ain't trying to be the perfect one okay I'm just exactly who I am if you can't handle that just go just go don't disturb me just go I have had what's it called um I have had so many character development in this city in this world that I just don't take I just don't take crap no more like in relationship in friendships I just don't I just don't I'd rather be alone for the rest of my life than have to deal with people who just don't you know give you the respect that you deserve give you the space that you deserve have standards have boundaries in everything that you do if it's work if it's relationships friendships everything just have your standards have your boundaries and when someone crosses those now you can say you know what i'm not dealing with you no more okay and the best way that i realize that people can know about your standards and your like um boundaries and stuff just tell them it's as simple as that just tell them just tell them this is what i tolerate this is what i don't tolerate um i'm okay with this i'm not okay with this other thing and if they take it the wrong way that's on them but you are saying it to protect yourself you are to, you you set standards and boundaries to protect yourself from toxic relationships from toxic friendships and from people just walking all over you it's a it's a what is it called it's like a protective shield that you need to have it don't matter if you're a guy or a girl okay everybody deserves to have um, boundaries and if people don't respect them you can just tell them you know what this is not working yo hold up you just tell them this is not working and you know part ways because well we're like seven billion people if a boy says he doesn't want you or if you tell them about your standards and your boundaries and he doesn't agree with them there's a lot more fish to see so just go hunting go freaking fishing okay but what I haven't told you is how to actually grow with the boundaries or develop the boundaries and develop the standards now here's the thing you need to sit down with yourself this is a you problem this is a you solution okay sit down with yourself and ask yourself what are the things in your friendships in your uh relationship love relationships you will tolerate and things you don't tolerate okay and i need you to look so deep inside yourself and then you know you see the thing is okay if you write a list of things you tolerate and things you don't tolerate look at them look at them and look at them very carefully and ask yourself i have been doing this this i've been accepting this 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 and this and it's not been working so what do i do i put it under my boundaries and under my standards that's how you do it that's how you start discovering more standards and more boundaries just look at the things you've been tolerating in relationships and friendships and then ask yourself if you didn't tolerate them will you be in a better place would you would you have a better friendship and if the answer is yes put them under sorry put them under the list of your boundaries that's kind of how it works okay you have to sit down with yourself it's not something i can do for you it's not something anyone can do for you it's just something you can do for yourself and at the end of it all you're gonna start you know seeing a change you're gonna start seeing a difference in how people treat you and how people um address you y'all at this point in my life y'all i just do me okay and if people don't like it <laughs> They can go. I don't really care. They can go because I have gone through life 
opening up to it not opening up but accepting love and now i don't really accept nothing like you can stay there all day but if i'm not happy with how you talk how you eat <laughs> how you address yourself in front of people if i'm just not happy about it i'm not gonna hang out with you no more it's as simple as that okay it's a very weird way of addressing situations but that's kind of how i address it maybe i could have used a different brush for my nose contour but anyway i can't find that brush right now so we're just gonna contour with this one just like that so the point of this video is i just want you guys to have standards in every aspect of your life because you deserve to be respected you deserve to be treated how you want to be treated okay the next section i want to address is how to draw boundaries and standards when you're dating someone you see what i realized yo hold up i can't find my brush wait a minute give me a second relationships like love relationships are way much trickier because you don't know when to tell them you're like, you know, you don't know when to address the standard issue. And to me, what I realized is at the very beginning, okay, a couple of weeks ago, uh, I started talking to this guy. He was fine and all, but, you know, nothing really too much, I guess. He was just fun. And he's been trying to talk to me for a long time and I finally gave in because, you know, I was bored. So, the first week of talking was fine and then he asked me out on a date and I was like, cool, okay, let's go out on a date. Now, <laughs> y'all, this is where he messed up. And afterwards, he kept on asking me, what went wrong, what went wrong, why are you not talking to me? But what he didn't realize is... On the day, that's where he messed up. Because what he told me we we're gonna go do, we didn't go do that. And y'all, I wasn't having it. Like if you tell me we're going on a on a date and then you tell me like that we're going for dinner or we're going bowling or we're going um to the target range, we're not going anywhere, like you just give me an idea of where we're going for our day and I agree to it. And when the day off comes, you start acting shady okay you start shifting away from the day that you told me we're going to we're gonna have a freaking problem y'all because that i don't take i don't take that to me you have insulted me in a way because you told me we're going a certain place and when the time came that's not where we're going okay so i wasn't gonna accept that i wasn't gonna accept that at all so after that day I stopped talking to him. He kept on asking. We met once after. And he kept on asking what went wrong, what went wrong. Um, I don't really, I didn't really know how to explain like what went wrong. Because he should know. Like. At that day, I wasn't even happy at all. I was, I was pissed. And he kept on asking, are you pissed? Are you pissed? No, I'm not going to answer you. I'm not going to tell you, yes, I'm pissed. You can say I'm pissed. That's why you're asking me, are you pissed? So, because I was pissed. Okay? I was very pissed. So, after that, I was like, I ain't doing this no more. Um, I stopped talking to him. And that's what I'm trying to tell you, though. If you're getting like if you're getting into with someone you you know you're you're becoming something with someone and they just start acting in a way that you don't accept like you know they're treating you in a way that you don't want to be treated just end it there right there and then okay right there and then i know like all this instagram quotes they keep saying oh this generation you can't even like have you don't have stable relationships because y'all don't give each other a chance no it's not about giving each other a chance it's about finding someone who actually takes your standards and takes your boundaries seriously like from the very beginning he knew what kind of person i am from the very beginning even on the first time of talking he was like i know you're a baby girl you know soft life and shit um and he started saying, I know you're high maintenance and everything. So he already knew what kind of person I was. Okay, it's not like I didn't tell him or he didn't have an idea. We used to, we, we could, we used to go to the same school together, uh, the same university. So when he acted like that, um, I got pissed and 
I just I was hanging and I was like you know what you have crossed my boundary you have crossed them so I am not gonna take him and that's how it ended um it actually he he kept on like trying to solve it and he's like oh how can I solve this there's really no way you can solve it okay I've already seen that we're not compatible whatsoever so I don't wanna okay I don't wanna try and explain what went wrong so the point is at the very beginning of your talking stages you need to let them know exactly like your boundaries, your standards, your everything are, okay? And if they don't take you seriously, that's where, that's your cue to leave. See, if they don't take you seriously or they start thinking it's just a suggestion, you know, sometimes they start thinking like you're suggesting to them, like, you know, this is what I like, but it's a suggestion, you can either do it or not. They need to know you ain't trying to suggest it, you're telling them what you're saying. Point blank, period, you know, trying to hide. So, Y'all, grow standards, okay? It's not a bad thing. Don't let nobody tell you it's a bad thing to have standards. It's not. It's not a bad thing. The people who tell you it's a bad thing to have standards are the people who tell you it's a bad thing to, like, you know, change and develop. You don't have to be born with standards. No one is born with standards. I think unless the royal family or something. Okay, those are born with standards. But the rest of us have to develop and grow our standards, okay? And I know, like, when you have standards, people will come at you and they'll be like, oh, she's just pretending, you know, and shit like that. Don't listen. Don't listen. You know what's good for you, okay? And if you know what's good for you, don't let people tell you otherwise. So, yeah, okay? That's just it. Grow standards. Don't listen to like people, especially men, y'all. <laughs> men are a different breed. The male species is a different breed, y'all. Because when they find a girl with standards, they just start saying things like, you're high maintenance, you know, you're a gold digger, and shit like that. Like, it, <laughs> it, don't, it don't be like that, okay? I don't have standards. <laughs> well, I have standards that, that doesn't mean I'm a gold digger, y'all, okay? I am very young. I can make my own money, y'all. So don't even come at me and say you're a gold digger. The fuck am I gold digging? Most of the people who say, oh, girls have, you know, the girls who, like, you know, do their makeup, have their hair done all the time, you know, the high maintenance, slay queens, boys, I'm gonna call them boys. They be saying, oh, she's high maintenance and shit, but in reality, it's not high maintenance. It's just taking care of yourself. And then they start saying she's just a gold digger. I'm like, you is broke. The hell am I digging from you? Your grave or something? I don't know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> y'all, I think I'm gonna just do a very light lip. I don't think I wanna like do like lipstick and stuff so guys that is all i had for you today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please do give me a thumbs up and comment down below on what you want to see on my channel i really hope that this video has given you something you know something you've gotten just a little bit of something that's gonna help you you know grow your standards grow your boundaries you know help you in your future and also in your current relationship something that is tangible and is gonna help you in your life so i really hope you've gotten something out of it i feel like maybe it was kind of all over the place but i have tried to make you flow as much as possible so yeah okay and with that guys i am definitely going to see you in my next video goodbye she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her she's a mona lisa everyone's lining